Sam is a coffee farmer in the remote highlands of Papua New Guinea. Sam faces many challenges in getting his coffee to market with bad road conditions and a lack of coffee buyers. Sam knows that he can sell to roadside buyers or a fair trade organisation in the next village. Sam wants to know more about the fair trade organisation, so he speaks to Matilda, the manager. Matilda tells Sam that fair trade encourages farmers to get organised and sell their coffee together. The fair trade organisation is made up of member farmers, a management team and a board. They work together to make it easier for farmers to consistently sell their coffee and have a voice in decision-making processes. Members benefit from fair trade through the fair trade minimum price, a stable and fair price for their coffee. The organisation and members benefit from fair trade through the fair trade premium, an additional sum of money which members vote on to decide its use. In Matilda's organisation, the fair trade premium has helped the organisation grow and help members get new tin roofs. If Sam became a member, he would always have somewhere to sell his coffee for a good price. Sam would also get a vote in how the fair trade premium was spent. And more than that, Sam would be a part of strengthening his community through farmer organisation and good leadership. What does fair trade mean for member farmers? A better price for their coffee? community development opportunities through the fair trade premium. Strength in numbers means many farmer voices are louder than one.